I came across a piece of news today that absolutely blew my mind and I want to talk about it. This piece of news says that the CDC has recently revised the developmental milestone for humans, for babies. In this revision that they did, they completely eliminated crawling as a developmental milestone. Wow, oh my goodness, I cannot stress how incorrect and wrong that I believe this is. Crawling, we know, has been a very important physical milestone that has been talked about, that has been shared, that we know about for a long time. There are even studies that talk about when children skip crawling and go straight into walking, how they have difficulty physically performing tasks, um, even doing sports or coordinating their body. It's very difficult for us to understand how to locomote and how to do higher technical things when crawling is skipped. So crawling, in my opinion, is an absolutely fundamental milestone and it's a milestone that I want to put more emphasis on and I feel that if parents, children, and even as adults, that if we understand that crawling is something we can always go back to and it's really healthy for our muscles, for our nervous system, for our brain to learn how to coordinate our body, it's um, absolutely crucial. So let's talk a little bit about why crawling is fundamental and paramount for our development as, as a milestone so that we can do things. We've all heard the term we need to crawl before we walk and walk before we run. Now that's a phrase, but there are some deeper truths within that. And the reason for that is because crawling is the first place that we learn how to coordinate our rights and our lefts at the same time. When we crawl, we do not crawl just with our right side and just with our left side. There are a lot of babies um, and even adults today that I, I re-educate on how to crawl and one of the biggest mistakes that they make is they do same side crawling. They crawl with their right and their left leg, their right leg and right arm, and then they crawl with their left leg and left arm. It looks like this. It's very inefficient. It's not healthy for the body. And if that's the way that they develop crawling or if we didn't understand how to crawl, it turns into same side walking. If someone walked through their life like this, we knew it would be kind of weird Walking requires opposites to work. Notice how my right foot goes forward, my right hand pulls back. Boom, boom, do boom. This may seem really simple, but it actually takes a little bit of coordination and neurological and understanding how to make that movement happen. And we first learn that with crawling. My left leg comes forward, my right hand comes forward. My opposites work together so that I can crawl. If you haven't crawled in a while, give this a shot and you can see that, wow, there's a lot of moving pieces that allow me to move forward and crawling is the safest place for me to do that. When I crawl, notice how my spine is almost parallel with the floor. So I'm learning how to pull myself forward, push and pull myself forward with my spine being on this horizontal axis. Once I understand how to develop my nervous system, coordinate my muscles on this horizontal axis, then I can start to go to my feet and perform the same movements with my spine being vertical. It's much dif more difficult to coordinate the same movements with my spine being vertical, but crawling um, and walking are the same, it's just standing up. They're very much the same movements. Let me demonstrate that for you right now. With a crawling step, I go into this position, one leg forward, the other leg, to boom, to boom. Let me go to the side, boom, boom. Now all I'm gonna do is take this position and put it vertical. This is stand up, crawling, walking, but, 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 boom. It's really the same thing. In the crawling, I understand, or we have the opportunity as humans to learn how to coordinate our lower extremities, our upper extremities, and our spine so that we can move forward. This is really important. If I'm crawling and my spine is stiff and locked straight upright, it becomes very difficult for me 
to crawl through the world. If my spine is straight, if I allow my spine to move, crawling becomes really easy, efficient, and it helps me coordinate everything. Same with walking. Once I understand that crawling, if I understand how to walk and use my spine to walk, it becomes very fluid. If I have a strict spine when I'm walking, it becomes staunchy, it becomes staggering. I become heavy footed. It sounds like you're of like heavy walking. Walking becomes much more laborious, inefficient. Crawling is absolutely fundamental to understand how to coordinate ourselves muscularly, neurologically, so that when we go to do higher technical things like walking or running, that we can do the same movement pattern much, much more efficiently. All locomotion really has the same type of pattern with our spine and our extremities, from climbing to swimming to crawling or running. It really is the same pattern, just bigger. Crawling is fundamental to us and it's one of the easiest access points to that locomotion engine for us. Um, and it's easy for us because we have our feet, our knees, and our hands on the ground. That means we have so much stability. Look at how much stability I have right now. The chances that I'm gonna fall over are very slim. So in this safe place where I have a ton of base, I've got a ton of place to, to widen myself out and figure out my body, I've got all this support. So I've got one hand, two hands, two knees, that's four, and my feet, that's six. You can even go and add more support, but that's six points right now that it's on the ground. That's giving me direct feedback and feeling sensation to my body. If we go from six and then we go to two points, I only have two points, this becomes much more difficult for me to balance and figure out where I am in time and space. It is absolutely fundamental that we spend a large amount of time, a good amount of time crawling in our de de developmental years. If we do not develop ourselves into understanding crawling and locomoting ourselves on all fours, when we go to walk, when we go to run, it will not be that clean. It's going to be inefficient. It's going to be difficult for us. So we're gonna have weird movements. Our spine is gonna be locked. We're not gonna understand how to balance ourselves on one side, the right side and the left side, and how to coordinate our rights and our lefts so that we can move forward. You end up getting people that walk around doing this kind of stuff, or walking through life doing this, instead of the natural locomotive pattern that's like available to all humans. Crawling is, is absolutely fundamental. And I'm not sure why that, that was removed uh, from the milestones, but this message is for parents and for anyone who's interested in just being able to efficiently move throughout their life, who wants to be an athlete, who wants to make sure they don't have pain. Crawling is absolutely one of the crucial skills to learning how to move your body. So when you're thinking about crawling, here are some things that you can implement or you can implement for your kids to help them have more opportunity to go to the ground and crawl. The first one you can have, we want soft surfaces. So notice I have these knee pads on. This is hard tile that I'm on. Hard tile, hardwood floors is gonna make it less comfy for me to be in these low ground resting positions. It's gonna put a lot of pressure on my bones, on my ankles and on my knee joints. And so yes, I'm gonna be looking to crawl onto a couch or to get onto my feet to get away from the hard floor. So something you can do is to get really nice, comfy grounds, rugs, pillows, something, wrestling mats even, something that makes the ground a safe place for me to move my body where I don't feel like I have to get away from the hard and cold surface. So knee pads, rugs, pillows, 
yoga or gymnastics, tumbling mats, um, and encouraging yourself or your kids to go outside to the grass or onto the beach. If you go to the beach, just look at how young children move. Most of the time they are in these low positions. They are not standing up. And this will bring me to my last point, that crawling is absolutely fundamental so that we can learn how to mobilize ourselves in a bent position. When I'm crawling, I'm gonna have my feet bent, my ankles dorsiflexed or bent, and my legs bent. So I'm gonna be in this low kind of squat position, and I'm gonna learn how to coordinate myself from a bent position, so low bent, being down here low. This is what allows me to do something like a deep squat. This is what allows me to be able to pull into a forward fold is because all of my pressure is on the ground. If I don't spend enough time on the ground, my feet are gonna be really stiff. I'm not gonna have the ability to untuck them and sit back or even do things like go from knees to a low squat. So this is where you hear a lot of people like, oh, I've got really stiff ankles. I've got, um, I'm missing dorsiflexion, the ability for the knee to come forward. Well, one of the easiest ways that you can regain this ankle mobility and this hip mobility is going back to the ground in these all four crawling variation positions. That's one of the reasons why I stress so much about rocking. Rocking is a natural movement that all humans, babies do that opens up the hips and can open up the ankles for us, getting us some ankle mobility, hip mobility, and spinal mobility. So if we skip crawling, neurologically, we're gonna be behind the cusp. Doing higher level activities like walking and running becomes very difficult. And so if you want your children to go do and play sports, their ability to engage in those sports could be diminished. If you want your children or yourself to have the ability to rest on the ground like this, or to have a deep squat, we have to develop ourselves on the floor. If we go from lying on our backs, going to tummy time, and then we just only go to standing, notice how my legs are straight. This is when it becomes we get really stuck in our mobility. We don't have the ability to compress ourselves down to the floor. Crawling is so important. So if you think that you skipped crawling because maybe your parents stood you up early, look at my, look at my son, look at my daughter, look at how good they're doing. They're walking already. That's not necessarily a good thing. We don't want to spend time putting our children in the little bouncy houses where they're already upright. The best thing that we can do is spend a ton of time in tummy time and all fours ground resting positions. The ground is our friend and it's where we develop our ability to mobilize our joints, be an athlete, coordinate our muscles, and learn how to locomote and balance ourselves really well, absolutely crucial for us. So there are a ton of things that we can do for that. If you think that you lost the ability to crawl, reach out to us. We've got a ton of resources and educational material to re-educate yourself about crawling. If you re-educate yourself, you can provide the opportunity for your children as well, and you could crawl with them. It's so healthy for all humans, no matter where you are or who you are, crawling is a very healthy movement. It mobilizes, it strengthens, and it helps you coordinate your movement. You will be a better mover from this crawling. What else do I have to say? It's a developmental milestone.